Welcome to Quillable Quotes and thank you so much for sharing your time with me. I'm excited to share this video today, the first quote quiz of the channel. For today's quiz, there will be 15 questions and will be centered around the founding of the United States of America, what we call the Founding Fathers. Don't utilize a search engine, but be sure to drop in the comments how many answers you get correct. Let's dive right in. Quote 1. There. I guess King George will be able to read that without his spectacles. Was this A. George Washington B. John Hancock C. Thomas Jefferson or D. Lin-Manuel Miranda 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 And the answer is B. John Hancock. Quote 2. A house is not a home unless it contains food and fire for the mind as well as the body. Was this A. Benjamin Franklin, B. Elbridge Jerry, C. John Adams, or D. King George? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, zero. And the answer is A. Benjamin Franklin. Quote three. Oppressors can tyrannize only when they achieve a standing army, an enslaved press, and a disarmed populace. Was this A. John Jay, B. Thomas Jefferson, C. Paul Revere, or D. James Madison. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the answer is D. James Madison. Quote 4. I am sorry to say that sometimes matters of very small importance waste a good deal of precious time by the long and repeated speeches and chicanery of gentlemen who will not wholly throw off the lawyer, even in Congress. Was that A. George Washington B. Benjamin Franklin C. Bill Clinton or D. William Whipple 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, Zero. And the answer is D. William Whipple. Quote 5. If the citizens neglect their duty and place unprincipled men in office, the government will soon be corrupted. If a Republican government fails to secure public prosperity and happiness, it must be because the citizens neglect the divine commands and elect bad men to make and administer the laws. Was this A. Noah Webster? B. James Otis Jr. C. Benjamin Rush or D. Barack Obama 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 And the answer is A. Noah Webster Quote 6 A wise and frugal government which shall restrain men from injuring one another, shall leave them otherwise free to regulate their own pursuits of industry and improvement, and shall not take from the mouth of labor the bread it has earned. Was this A. John Adams B. Abraham Lincoln C. Thomas Jefferson or D. Samuel Adams 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one, zero. And if you answered B, Abraham Lincoln, you would be incorrect because the right answer is C, Thomas Jefferson. Quote seven. The great enemy of the salvation of man, in my opinion, never invented a more effective means of limiting Christianity from the world than by persuading mankind that it was improper to read the Bible at schools. Was this A. Aaron Burr B. Benjamin Rush C. 
Marquet de Lafayette, or D, John Quincy Adams. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the answer to this one is B, Benjamin Rush. Quote 8. The Constitution enjoins an oath upon all the officers of the United States. This is a direct appeal to that God who is the avenger of perjury. Such an appeal to him is a full acknowledgement of his being in providence. Was this A. George Wythe, B. John Lawrence, C. James Monroe, or D. Oliver Wolcott? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the answer to this one is D. Oliver Wolcott. Quote 9. Bad men cannot make good citizens. It is when the people forget God that tyrants forge their chains. A vitiated state of morals, a corrupted public conscience, is incompatible with freedom. No free government or the blessings of liberty can be preserved to any people but by a firm adherence to justice, moderation, temperance, frugality, and virtue, and by a frequent recurrence to fundamental principles. Was this A. Patrick Henry B. Aaron Burr C. Hercules Mulligan or D. Nathaniel Green 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 And the answer is A. Patrick Henry Quote 10 why has government been instituted at all? Because the passions of men will not conform to the dictates of reason and justice without constraint. Was this A. Thomas Jefferson B. John Jay C. Alexander Hamilton or D. Horatio Gates 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one zero and the correct answer is c alexander hamilton quote 11 let us tenderly and kindly cherish therefore the means of knowledge let us dare to read think speak and write was this a john quincy adams b george washington c John Adams or D. Daniel Webster 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 And the answer is C. John Adams Quote 12 It does not take a majority to prevail but rather an irate, tireless minority keen on setting brush fires of freedom in the minds of men. Was this A. John Otis Jr. B. Samuel Adams C. John Hancock or D. George Washington 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 and the answer is B. Samuel Adams. Quote 13. It is only when the people become ignorant and corrupt, when they degenerate into a populace, that they are incapable of exercising their sovereignty. Was this A. Betty Ross? B. James Madison? C. Benedict Arnold? Or D. James Monroe? 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the answer is D, James Monroe. Quote 14. Be courteous to all, but intimate with few. 
and let those few be well tried before you give them your confidence. True friendship is a plant of slow growth and must undergo and withstand the shocks of adversity before it is entitled to the appellation. Was this A. George Washington B. Aaron Burr C. Abigail Adams or D. Samuel Chase 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0 And the answer is A. George Washington and we are coming up to the end of this first quiz on Quillable Quotes. Thank you so much for taking the time. And don't forget to drop in the comments how many you got correct. And without further ado, quote 15. How pitiable it is to reflect that although you were so fully convinced of the benevolence of the father of mankind and of his equal and impartial distribution of these rights and privileges, which he hath conferred upon them, that you should at the same time counteract his mercies in detaining by fraud and violence so numerous a part of my brethren, under groaning captivity and cruel oppression, that you should at the same time be found guilty of that most criminal act, which you professedly detested in others, with respect to yourselves. Was this A. Thomas Jefferson B. Alexander Hamilton C. Benjamin Banneker or D. John Lawrence 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And the last answer in this first quote quiz is C. Benjamin Banneker in a letter he wrote to then President Thomas Jefferson.